Hello everybody, Ellis is finally back to her YouTube channel. I know you guys have been creeping at every single day wondering where the heck I've been. The answer is honestly, I've been going through some crazy changes in my life. I moved to Los Angeles, so now I'm here full time, just chilling, vibing. I'm in the middle of applying for my working visa, so stay tuned for that. But I decided to come on here because as I just said, I am going through a lot of changes lately and they're changes that I've come to realize a lot of other people are going through as well. And there's a lot of different resources that have helped me through it. So I figured why not potentially be that resource for other people. So I've been on a little spiritual journey. So I've always, my whole life, I was raised very religiously. My mom was very spiritual. She was always about energy. I'm staging the house when I was younger and crystals. And I've always like really been into rock collections and stuff, but I never really understood it. I've been raised around it. I've performed the rituals, the actions, but I never truly understood what it was like to be spiritual or actually being able to tap into your third eye until very, very recently. For those of you guys who don't know what a third eye is, basically it's your intuition. It's what allows you to open up, access your gifts, remember potentially past lives, see ghosts, you know, whatever it is that you kind of possess, whatever power that you possess, which I fully believe every single person on this earth has access to different parts of their brain and or access to different gifts. Because if you think about it, we can only use something like 3% of our brain at once, right? So imagine being able to unlock that a little bit more. But anyways, so it all started with a rock, <laughs> which sounds so crazy, but once upon a time I was on my visa run here um, in March actually, and we went to the crystal store and we bought this crystal, me and my roommate Serena, called Maldivite. So the only reason we bought this is because Maldivite was actually trending on TikTok. And it basically everybody was warning you, don't get it if you're not ready for major life changes. The point of this crystal is to rip everything negative and everything that's not serving you out of your life in order to help you grow in order to make room for the things that you need, the energy you need, the life that you are meant to live. And honestly, we just thought it was kind of silly. Neither of us really believed in it. We actually went with our other friend, Peter. All of us were like, ah, fuck it, like we'll get it. This stone's also super rare, so it's pretty expensive, but it continues to go up in value, so it's a great investment. So we're like, worst case, we'll make some money on this in the future. Okay, so we get this magic little stone, and the girl at the store was literally like, do not carry this on you at all times, because if you do, Things will happen very, very quickly that you're probably not ready for. And me and Serena, obviously, we're kind of all or nothing type of gals and we're like, screw it, we'll keep it on us 24 seven. <laughs> I don't know if that was the best idea. I mean, now everything happened for a reason, but at the time, let me tell you, when things got dark, things got dark. Everything in both of our lives changed. Serena had a huge falling out with some people that she loved very, very dearly. It was the end of the world for her. She got held up at the border for 10 hours. I told her she was banned for life. All of this crazy stuff happened to her, which put her in a really dark place, but actually now allowed room for the person that she is now. And honestly, I have never seen more growth in somebody in my life than I have with Serena since the time she bought her Maldivite to now. So I was working a full-time job as a content creator um, in Mexico and I was really scared to actually get this stone because I knew that it was ready for me to leave, but I wasn't quite ready for that yet. And I was like, uh, if the stone's gonna do one thing, it's gonna rip me away from this job, it's gonna rip me away from Mexico. And the second I got back, literally everything fell apart. And it was obviously a hard time, but now it led me to literally living my dream. Like the life that I'm living now in Los Angeles is the life that I've honestly been manifesting ever since I was a little girl before I even knew what manifestation was. Okay, now fast track to my friend Peter. So this guy's a writer in LA and next thing you know, he completely dropped all of his friend group after getting molded by completely sobered up, went to Costa Rica. He's now looking to buy land there to just like live on the land. So within the span of a month, the three of us went through major, major changes that honestly would usually take some years and years and years to go through. Like it's just so crazy. Coincidence or not, you tell me. But after that moment, we started to dive a little bit deeper into this whole crystal thing because you know, worst case, they're really pretty put beside my bed. Why not? Best case, maybe this is kind of you know, we're kind of onto something here. So ever since I was a little girl, I've always said, you know, all the women in my family are a little bit psychic. We were those witches that were burned at the stake back in the day. And my worst fear has always been burning alive since I was little. It's always been like a very irrational fear of mine. So flash forward, I get a bunch of crystals and I get this crystal called amethyst, which you probably know of. 
and what everything that I was reading online, the little videos that I was humoring myself with, told me to do is this is very good for opening up your third eye. So I began meditating with this at night, every night, literally on my forehead, um, like a crazy person. And I was just like, okay, universe, if this whole crystal thing is real, if this whole like unlocking these powers is real, give it to me. Open up my third eye. Let's just do this. Zero to hundred. Come on. Anyways, literally, I'm not kidding. The next day, Serena was messaging me and she's like, Hey, LS, do you want to come to Salem with me for Halloween? For those of you guys who don't know what Salem is, it's where the witch trials were held. And when she texted that to me, I got like a crazy knot in my stomach. I... I was just like, I started panicking. I was in panic mode. I was like, no, I'm not ready for this. I don't want to do this. This is not something I want to do. And she's like, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, I went out that night. I came home and I was completely sober at this point. I want to add to you. And I was reading through a conversation while I was getting ready for bed and I was scrolling through it. And then I came across the word Salem and my whole body literally lit on fire. Like I was in so much pain, so much physical pain, so much emotional pain. And I collapsed to the ground and I literally could not get up. I collapsed to the ground and I was sobbing for hours. It was probably about an hour and a half and I, my roommate was sleeping and I, I literally couldn't get up and I closed my eyes and I kept having these like insane visions of just literally being at the witch trials, being the one who was burnt at the stake back in the day. And I was in so much physical pain. I was like heaving, like I couldn't even breathe. I was having like an, a full on panic attack on the ground. So when this whole freak out happened, I actually pulled out my phone, like the content creator I am in the middle of a breakdown and recorded myself just explaining what I just saw and what I just felt. And I'll play for you maybe some clips of that here. It's very vulnerable, but um, yeah, it just goes to show like how real the whole thing was for me. I just had one of the craziest experiences of my whole entire life. You know, I have a little bit of a sixth sense for sure. I am, I've always been a little bit psychic. All the women in my family are. And I would always say we were the women burnt at the stakes. I know it's in my lineage. I all of a sudden had this crazy flashback of just all of these people, just like all these women getting murdered. Like, and I, it was more of a feeling than like a visual, like it was like little blurs and flashes, but like I felt so much pain, like so much emotional pain, like like so much death and so much loss and like I've never felt that way in my life and I collapsed to the ground and I fucking like, I literally sobbed for like an hour, I couldn't move, I was clutching my chest, I was just like sobbing and sobbing and like I've never, I've never experienced that before in my life. I kind of want to go on a journey to explore this a little bit more. So I called my mom and my mom has always talked to me about this and she's had visions of herself in past lives and I have too here and there and it sounds crazy so I don't really talk about it much but I, I called her and she just basically said, Ellis, it's time, like you need to explore this. This is your soul telling you you need to explore this. She's like, we were those women. She's like, I've visited all of those places because I've had, I've been exactly where you are and you can't push it away because it's going to destroy you if you do. So you need to embrace it and you need to educate yourself. I feel like other people are going through this too. So maybe this could help a couple people out there. And finally I, I sat myself out of it and I got up and oh my God, I, I woke up my roommate and I was like, I don't know what is happening to me but this is like the craziest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Like I was like, I feel crazy right now. I feel crazy right now. Like the emotions I feel like I felt so much pain, like generations of pain, just like throughout my whole entire body. She was like, just comforting me. She was like, what is going on? Are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I think I just need to talk to my mom. Um, my mom's also been like always very in tune spiritually. And so I called her and I was like, mom, this is, this is happening to me. I don't know what's happening. And she looked at me, I was FaceTiming her and she was like, Ellis, I've been waiting for this phone call. She's like, you have it too. She's like, in my past life, I was crushed. And I was like, pardon? I was like, you were, you were a witch in the past life too? Like, what is going on here? And she's like, Ellis, I've been expecting this phone call from you ever since. You were two years old, you were sitting on my lap and I fell into a dream and I was dreaming about witches. And you woke me up by saying, mommy, you're a witch, mommy, you're a witch. And in that moment, I knew that you had it too. And my little sister, for those of you guys who don't know, I don't know if I've talked about this on the channel, but she sees spirits, especially when she was little, like really insanely. Like the amount of stories I have where I've been with her, like if you guys don't think ghosts are real, I'm telling you right now, 100% for a fact they are. I've been on ghost tours with her as a little girl where she's literally seen 
the full ghosts of like children running around and this was before the age of cell phones and we'd go up on our dial-up internet and look at the reviews of these ghost tours and like verbatim everything that these kids were wearing like everything that they looked like their mannerisms or how my little sister at the age of like six was describing them so anyways we always knew how she, she had that gift and i've always been very empathetic um but i've come to realize after that like i think it actually is a lot deeper a lot deeper than that and you know, even if all of these crystals, all of this stuff, I'm not saying like, no, 100% for a fact, like, this is science. Like, I mean, I still obviously have my doubts. I'm so new to this journey, but that's why I kind of wanted to come on here and document it because I feel like I'm going to be going through a lot of crazy stuff in the future. And the more I talk about it, I'm so thankful that I have friends that are so open-minded and I have friends who've been through similar things. Like after this happened, I called one of my girlfriends, Brie, and I was like, this happening to me I'm having this vision like I literally feel like a crazy person like tell me I'm not crazy and she's like Ellis I had that too she's like I was literally drowned ever since she was little she has this huge phobia of anything weighted on her feet you can throw a blanket or a sweater and it can land on her feet and she'll freak out and it's just like ever since she was a little girl she's had this the two of us when we get together like I don't even know how to describe it we have like the most insane chemistry like we we're for sure sisters in another life. I don't know if we're witchy sisters together, probably. But we could just look at each other and be like, this is gonna happen tonight. And it does. Like the other day we were in Vegas and we looked at each other and we're like, we're gonna go out to the casino and we're gonna get money handed to us and we're gonna get chips handed to us and we're gonna get our flights paid for home. And I kid you not, literally that night, we met up with this big group of people and these people just kept giving us chips, handing us cash, and then we got our flights just paid for. And this was out even like going and looking for it. This was just like people that we, we met them walking out of the club, they pulled us over in their booth. So I don't know, I've always been such a fan of manifestation. Like if you follow me on this channel, and uh, look at my past videos, like I talk about this all the time because I've always truly believed in that. I've manifested the dream life I have now. Like I've not been handed the things I have. I don't, I've not been handed money. I wasn't raised with my parents funding my trips and my travels and my dreams. Like I've done this all myself because I've worked for it and I, I truly just take time to tell the universe this is gonna happen. Like the power of attraction is so real. If you command it into the universe, like it's gonna happen for you. And honestly, I now I figure even if these crystals are just silly little rocks, like a lot of people think they are, starting to manifest with these. So all of them kind of have different meanings. And it actually going through the ritual of like grabbing it and like, you know, for example, amethyst opening up my third eye. There's so many different ones. There's like tiger's eye, which is great for like luck and good fortune. And there's, there's literally, I have so many crystals now. I'm like addicted at this point. Citrine and like pyrite, which is fool's gold. Green aventurine. And these are all for manifesting money and basically like achieving all your goals. And like now that I have these, whether the energy truly assists me with it or not, it actually is giving me a reason and taking me through that ritual of taking the time to just command the universe as to what's gonna happen for me. And like, if you truly believe something and if you truly work for it, it's gonna happen. Stop with those limiting beliefs. The only people that are stopping you is literally yourself. Take yourself out of your comfort zone. It's scary, but that's where the magic happens. And I've always, always believed that from the bottom of my heart. And now that I'm getting into all of this and I'm starting to like open up even more, the idea of manifestation and energy and all this stuff, like things are moving at hyper speed for me, success wise, like it's, freaking crazy how much my life has been changing so i urge you give it a try a great one to start with too i'm not the crystal expert in any means but rose quartz is a really good one too like it's all about love self-love love and friendships relationships just attracting that positivity and one more now this is turning into like a freaking crystal thing but like i've been so intrigued lately black tourmaline which is really good for turning negative energies into positive ones that's uh, so a protection stone so there's all of these different things whenever you know you wake up feeling scared at night like grabbing this and being like everything's good everything's good like having a nightmare grab this and meditate with it and it instantly makes me feel so much better there's actually a study done putting crystals in different glasses of water and freezing them and all of the crystals froze differently the water some of it was like you know circles some of it was like squiggly some of it was different heights different shapes sizes because everything is energy if you think about it that's a scientific fact you know and these admit energy we all admit energy and you know that's why it did that in the water and it was a too far of a stretch to think that this certain type of energy it admits can help you in some sort of way i don't know like i've always believed in the power of energy and if any of you guys are going through anything similar i want you to know you're not alone and you're not crazy and there's a lot of stuff out there that we don't know and if people are hard on you for it or ignorant that's on them they're closed-minded 
I think it, personally it's pretty naive to think there's no possibility of things that we can't see. You know, think about it. We can't even use all of our brain function. There's so much around us that we don't know. There's so many different levels of frequencies of energies around us. So just follow your intuition. Just make sure that these things that you're channeling, these gifts that you're channeling, if that's something you want to do, try to channel it positively. And just know that if these are things that you're experiencing, if you're experiencing this sort of awakening, don't push it away because it's going to make your life very, very, very hard. Because once you start to have that breakthrough, if you start to push it away, like you're not going to be in a good place mentally. So anyways, thank you so much for taking the time to watch part one of this little journey I'm on. I will be sure to keep you guys updated with how this goes because I think I'm really going to start diving deep into it. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and yeah, leave a comment too, letting me know your experiences. Love you so much and have a great rest of your day.